Good afternoon. My name is Chantel Morris, and I am an IHSS client. But I am so much more than that. I'm a mother, a sister, an aunt, and a best friend. And before I got sick, I was a deli clerk, a butcher, and an active union member. Two unions. My story starts about 20 years ago when I was eight months pregnant with my daughter, Rochelle. And I suffered a non-traumatic aneurysm, started bleeding out of my brain, had a pounding headache, went blind, and passed out. When I woke up, I couldn't speak right away. And then I learned that I had a genetic condition that weakened the walls of my blood vessels in my brain. And I had to have surgery to clip that aneurysm and stop the bleeding. I woke up bald, had to learn how to walk again, but I was okay. But more importantly, my daughter, Rochelle, was going to be okay. At nine months, <laughs> thank you. At nine months, I gave birth to her. She was happy and healthy. And only the sixth baby in California's history to undergo the traumatic aneurysm brain surgery while I was still pregnant. In 2004, I moved up to beautiful El Dorado County, continued to raise my daughter, work at the deli, remain very active in my union. I was happy and healthy, so I thought. Four years ago, I went to the doctor, was diagnosed with gallstones. Pretty routine diagnosis. Painful, but not really scary. Until the doctor came back and told me that I was in stage four liver failure, and I had about a year to live. You see, it turns out that I contracted hepatitis C from that very hospital during a, a blood transfusion when I had my aneurysm and I had been living with hepatitis C for t over 20 years and didn't even know it. And then I was told I only had a year to live. That's when my best friend Mark, who I first met when I moved to Eldorado County, selflessly stepped up, quit all of his side jobs, and offered to be my caregiver. I was shocked, personally. I mean, he gave up everything just to help a friend. I immediately enrolled in IHSS and was granted 182 hours a month. Mark was my rock. He saw me through the deepest, darkest times of my life. And I swear to you, I don't know where I would be without IHSS, Mark, and United Domestic Workers. The story gets a little better. I mean, I was granted that liver transplant eight months ago. And today, I'm happy to say that I'm negative for hepatitis C. I'm better and stronger than ever. But here's a clincher. There's still so many things that I can't do. Yet, Mark still continues to care for me. This program is so important. Home care keeps me out of the hospital. And when seniors and people with disabilities and illnesses can receive quality care at home, they're happier, they're healthier, and gee, guess what? It saves the state a ton of money. Which is why I'm here today to say this 7% cut to this program just doesn't make any sense. Do I magically need 7% less care every month? No. Just because the state asked me to? With this cut in place, Mark and every other care provider around is faced with that horrible decision to either work for free or deny their client the quality care that they need and so deserve. This is why we need to fight. This is 2015, you guys. This is not how we're supposed to be treating people. We need to respect the value of the home care providers. They are vital to the existence of so many, myself included. And we need to show seniors and people with disabilities that they matter too, and that we really do care if they live or die. The best way that we can do that is to invest in IHSS, give people the quality care they need, and finally, to pay the workers who provide that care a living wage. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think my story is proof positive that this, this program works. It is so very important. Every single one of you out there today, everybody, jurors included, nobody's exempt. You may fall ill, you may get in a car accident, you might need home care too. 
We need to invest in this program so it's available when we need it. And we need to invest in our workers so that they are there to do the job when we need it most. Thank you.